And we're back. No intro. Waste of time. Jumping right into it. The forest entrance level. Favorite part about this level is not the guys that look like they have buttholes as faces. No, no, no. It would be this alligator or a crocodile or whatever. Some kind of animal that we all know in real life I would absolutely obliterate. Which is why whenever I decide to go swimming somewhere in South America or other croc infested waters that I'm not the danger I mean wait I am the danger they're not I'm gonna shut the hell up so uh the big boy here is gonna get tossed around actually it's easier to toss big boy around like <laughs> never mind <laughs> never mind oh yeah I don't have the oh uh, yeah okay so I'm I'm stupid the combo woo. I need the XY combo in order to do what I wanted to do to this guy and float him in the air, but uh, I'm not high enough level yet, I keep forgetting, and that's embarrassing. But we move, making quick work of these thieves. Now, now, uh, get lots of experience, there's a level up. I didn't explain that in the last video, um, that glowing light. <clears throat> glowing light is my uh, well it's a signal that I've leveled up uh, so that that purple bar you see if you look to where my character is there's a red bar for his health a blue bar for his magic and uh, that purple bar well, obviously you can see it says XP next to it so the closer it gets to being filled up the uh, closer I am to leveling up now you know and uh, that's as you all know that is what happens when you watch my content you get life-changing advice like that and you're not gonna find it anywhere else simple as that um, I think I've proven over the last two years that you, you guys can completely trust me like the amount of lives that I've saved astronomical so it's about time that I do something like this, because this is this is for me, and I think that's why I'm enjoying it so much, and the fact that there's other people out there that are enjoying it too, that that means a lot to me. Like, there's people out there, I, when I post the first video, there was already people, <clears throat> they were, uh, there was already some people saying they enjoyed it, and I, I think that's awesome. You know, I know some people that sit under this bush on purpose to get pooed on, but like that's not me. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's some fetish stuff, and that's a red flag in my opinion. You'll never catch me letting anything poo on me, except for maybe Shakira. Well, there's a weapon there, but uh, I'm not gonna use it. I like my half sword weapon that I have here. Drop a bomb on him. Another one. He didn't want it. Another one. He didn't want another one. <clears throat> the thieves are kind of annoying because their arrows obviously shoot straight across the screen. Um, it's not so bad here. On insane mode, it can get kind of annoying. That's why uh, you'll notice I always float in the air whenever I'm smacking people around, and that's a huge advantage. Look again. That you'll never catch me getting dumped on by anything, especially a deer with diarrhea. Like, that's not okay. There's a little, uh, ow. There's a little crocodile or alligator over there in the corner, another pet. I'm gonna stick with the hawk. That pet over there, the crocodile alligator thing. Um, you know, it could even. No, it can't be a seahorse. Could I? I don't even know. Maybe it is a seahorse. I have no idea. A little glitchy there. Um, if you use him, it helps you walk across water. Like as you can see, I'm not really moving quickly across this water. Uh, this guy, if I grab him, then as you can see, you can move freely across the water there. But it's only useful in two parts of this game. That's one of them. <laughs> And the other one is a swamp level that we will all experience together at some point. And he's a little hairy caveman. Cavemen. Whatever they are. They uh, disintegrate after being annihilated. 
I always thought they looked like rather pubes or a grill brush. I haven't decided yet. A bit of both, really. There's a treasure chest here. It's got a weapon in it. Uh, I'm not really interested in the weapon. Uh, I will probably end up making a video, like I said in the last one, I think I brought it up, where I'm going to find every weapon. Well, I already know where every weapon is, but what do we got here? I think that bear represents everybody at around 9 o'clock, especially those in the trades. Um, I know that when I was on site, that was my uh, that was my go-to. Never ever in your entire life. This is my some seriously value the seriously valuable information for you. Never in life, poo, not on the clock, like not on the job. Like imagine that. Like going to the toilet is where I do my best work. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that you can get paid to do that is amazing. When I had my one job, I my very first job was at a butcher shop, and I had this app right and the app would calculate like you put in your hourly wage you hit start and stop when um, you're using the toilet and at the end of the year it calculates how much you earned while sitting on the toilet and it was pretty much almost a full paycheck which was very impressive but I thought those were rookie numbers and I had to up those numbers so that was my goal is every year try and get a little bit more than last year you know this guy obviously is a a, the giant pubis a turkey there um, this part <clears throat> isn't horrendous uh, these guys die pretty quickly but I can tell you right now on insane mode this this is a decently difficult part if you're not a advanced player I, I yeah you're gonna struggle with this one on advanced for sure I mean not for on um, insane mode he tears up every single time he poos one of them out, and it's like permanently tiered. And I've always wondered with this character, does it get to sleep? Or is it constantly shooting out these grill brushes? Grill brush looking creatures. Like I would like to know the origin story of this fuzzball. I sometimes like to try and get some experience and level up a couple times in this part without killing the boss. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it's... Oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, that's something you gotta be careful. If you drop on the floor, uh, these guys will take advantage of that. Well, I've almost leveled up, but I'm probably gonna kill him by accident if I hit him one more time. So I'm trying not to hit him, but I'm also trying not to die myself, because I want to get one more level up before I kill him. I'm pretty sure this game stacks, um, like you get experience points when you hit something, and I think, I, I don't know, I could be completely wrong, I've just, there's my level up, I'll kill him now. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure, just from my experience, that if you are hitting two guys at once, I think the multiplier stacks for leveling up, because I've smacked around like 10 things in the air at one point, and I literally could watch my XP bar moving up the screen. So, we've obviously got something coming. The screen's shaking. It's probably Gorlock the Destroyer. <laughs> uh, no, it's an even bigger fuzzball. And as you can see, our uh, pooing deer has returned. Uh, this part, it can be tricky. The key is obviously not to run into the logs. Gotta jump over them, but... Uh, there's a part that a lot of people struggle with, and I found the secret is just follow the deer. So this part here, right, where the you can only go through a tiny doorway, if you watch the deer, they move like that into the position of where the door frame is going to be. So all you have to do is stay in the clump of deer, it's not that hard. And uh, you do get an achievement if you are able to do this without hitting um, any obstacles. That's all you gotta do, you just gotta remember, follow the follow the deer. You don't need to shoot arrows here, I'm just doing it because there's nothing else to do. The only problem is I'm trying to stay in front of the deer that's like pooing, because obviously that's not okay, you know what I mean, and it's disgusting. You know, I would like a degree of maturity 
from uh, from that deer, and I'm just not getting it. Oh, I biffed. That's embarrassing. That was recorded. It's okay. I already got the achievement with the blue knight when I did that playthrough. How are we for time? Not bad. All right. Just gonna ride on this dead guy. Do you think I'll get canceled for that? Like riding on a dead body? Do you think that is something that you can get canceled for? I, I have no idea. Uh, yeah, you're gonna want to kill these bats PDQ pretty damn quick because uh, they'll bite your head and hold you still, and that's that's no bueno. Obviously, you can smack around this nerd. Giant. Sh they're not even sharks. I don't even, I don't even know what this is. An abomination. That's what it is. Obviously, the thieves think they're clever. They're trying to knock me off the dead body. It's just not gonna happen. You know, like, if they watch my videos, they'll know I'm built different. It's just not gonna happen. As I get knocked off. But that wasn't the thief. That was a rock, so it doesn't, doesn't count. <clears throat> Looks like we got a fish. Looks like Magic Carp's cousin. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about with the bats. Oh, no, 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 I don't, let's not do that. Really? Really? Well, our time with Magic Carp's cousin was short lived. Let's see what we get. A log? That's pretty boring. <clears throat> Obviously, he got a face full of cannonball. Uh, don't need to take him out. It's time for the old, uh, the old catfish. So I have a unique way of taking out the catfish. I just try to be as efficient as possible. Get your shield out, let the cannon hit him, it stuns him, and now you can do a little bit more damage than before. Yeah, obviously when he's not stunned, the damage drops. I like to give him a couple sucker punches in between there while holding my shield up. I know it's not much damage, but you know what? It adds up. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, even the arrows, I know a lot of people don't really do that when they're, uh, <clears throat> at this point, but, again, it adds up. Uh, I kind of slipped up there. I think I might get a new controller. This one's, uh, seen better days. It's just an original Xbox One controller when they first brought out the white controllers. later Doug this boss can be challenging um, obviously like me being born at the first sunrise uh, I've, I've literally seen it all so when he charges here stay in front of the boat and then just slightly move to the side so he smashes his face on the boat but like I was saying I've seen it all you know what I mean it's a lot of people were asking me to do like, oh, you should do scary games, like play through scary games. You guys, under you gotta understand, like if I can't be touched, can't be stopped, can't be moved, can't be rocked, can't be shook, then obviously being shook would be being scared. And you're supposed to watch those types of game playthroughs because the person that's playing them is supposed to go, whoa, whoa. but it's just not gonna happen with me. You know what I mean? Like, look, I didn't even, I wasn't even looking at the screen there. I just knew what was coming. And uh, that'll be the same thing with scary games. Like when, you, when you're when you immortal and you can't die, essentially nothing scares you. See you later, Doug. Little dead panda floating in the water. 142. That's what I'm talking about. That'll give us some good uh, leveling up. All right, let's, uh, I'm a huge fan of defense. I'll do a few on strength. Yeah, you know what, we'll just keep, I think we're gonna keep doing an even ratio of strength and defense from now on. So next up we have Tall Grass Field and that'll be in the next episode. So I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. I know that very few people will be enjoying this, <clears throat> especially as much as I am, but 
if you are watching, I, I do appreciate it very much. And if you are enjoying it, that's that's even better. Um, to everybody that's always supported me, in all seriousness, I, I appreciate it very, very much. I am in a very lucky position, and I know that that would not be possible without any of you. And um, I just, I can never return the favor. But I can just keep doing what you guys enjoy and keep trying to provide that smile for you throughout the day. And if you guys keep me happy and the sun explodes, I got you. You know what I'm saying? And... <laughs> Heaven forbid I ever turn evil. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a good night.